Hey guys, let's talk about functions in Python. A function is a block of code which will be executed only when the function is being called in your Python program. So in Python, there are a lot of inbuilt functions, meaning the built-in functions which you can use straight away after you have installed Python. So these functions or these inbuilt functions include print, len, input, etc. But as a user, we can also create our own functions. I'm going to show you how we can do that in a bit. In general, a function is created to perform a specific task. For example, if you want to display an output, then you can use the print function. If you want to count the number of characters in a string, then you can use the len function. Or if you want the user to enter a value during the execution of a program, then you can use the input function. Similarly, we can also create our own function. I'm going to show you the syntax how to create a function and then the different functionalities that are associated with these functions. So let's get into that. To create a Python function, we use the keyword def. So we so I have a file open here and the file name is learnfunction.py. So I write def which stands for define or definition followed by the function name. Let me just write the function name right like learn func and I can pass any number of parameters followed by a colon. Here I'm not passing any parameters because parameters are not mandatory. You can create functions without a parameter. So for now, let's not create a parameter. I'll enter a colon and then in the next line, I need to enter the block of code which needs to follow the indentation. Okay, so here I'm just going to write a print statement saying that function is invoked. Okay, and now in the next line, I come out of this uh, block of code inside of the function and I just write another print statement here saying that hello there and I say we are learning python okay so a simple program let me just execute this you can see that when i execute this program only the second print is being uh, executed the reason for this is the first print is part of my function learn func and as i told you previously a function is nothing but a block of code which will be executed only when you call that function. In this program, I am defining my function or creating my function, but I have not yet called this function. So in order to call this function, what I need to do is I just need to type the function name that is learn func and pass the parameters. In this case, I do not have any parameters in my function. So I just pass like this. And now when I execute this, you can see that my function is also getting executed because this print statement function is invoked is actually coming from inside my function, this one. So this is basically how I have created my function using the def keyword and then I have called my function by using just the function name. Now, let's say if I write this, if I call this function before I define the function here, if I just mention it here and now when I execute this program, it's going to throw me an error saying that learn func is not defined, meaning that I cannot call a function before I have defined it. So always remember to first define or create your function before calling it. Okay. So now you have seen how to create a function and how we can call it. Now let me talk about parameters. So a parameter is nothing but an input value that you can pass to your function. And this input value can be used inside your function. Okay, I'm creating a parameter called name and now I can use this parameter inside my function. So let's say I write a print statement like print uh, given name is, I type name, okay. And now since I have used the parameter here, whenever I'm going to call this function, I, I need to pass that parameter here. If I don't pass it, then Python is throwing, going to throw an error saying that type error that is missing one required positional argument because here I have missed to add a value or an argument uh, that will be used by this parameter. So to fix this, what we need to do is if whatever number of parameters we have in our function, we need to pass those values. Now let's say I'm going to pass a value here like Taufik. Okay, and now when I execute this program, you can see that the program is executed successfully and I'm getting all the print statements here. So the, the new one that I added given name is 
name this name is nothing but my parameter but this parameter is going to get the value that i have passed during my function call so when i call this function i passed an argument by the value taufik and this value or name gets stored into my parameter name and this is what is being used in my print statement here hence that is what is being displayed here okay so this is how we can use a parameter in my function one important thing to note about functions is that a function always returns a value so if you have not specified a return statement in your function then by default python will return a none value so what is a return statement it's like whenever you call a function in return the function is going to give back to you one value or a result for example let's see in this function you can see that i have not used any return statement but still internally python is actually returning a value just that in this program i'm not capturing that return value yet so in order to capture a return value what i need to do is whenever i'm calling this function i need to store the return value into a variable so to do that let me create a variable like result equal to and then let me call this function with the argument so now what happens is whatever is getting returned from this function will get stored into my variable result and then let me print that value okay now when i execute this program now you can see that given name is taufik and after that you can see result equal to none because since i have not specified a return statement here python by default returns the value none and that is what is captured here so let's say if i want to specifically return something then in that case i can just use the command like return and then followed by a value the value can be anything for now let me just pass return one and now let me save it and now when i execute this program you can see here it's returning the value one because explicitly i have used the return statement to return certain value this particular value none is basically a special kind of a value in python which is equivalent to a null value or an empty string okay it's basically means it's holding nothing okay something like that so this is what a return statement does i hope all of this was clear let me now write a simple program so let's say i want to write a program where i want to count the number of vowel characters in a given name first i want to capture a name so i say name equal to i use the input function after this i want to capture the result of my function and i will call a function so and inside the function i'm going to use this argument or this value okay so this function is basically what we are going to create now i'll show it to you in a bit and then i want to print that result so this is what i want to do but to do this i need a function which is going to count the number of vowel characters in a given name so let me now write or create that function to create this function i need to use the def keyword i'll give a name so something like count vowels so what this does is um, for every given string it's going to loop through every character in that string and if any of the characters belongs to this vowel character list then it's going to increase the count by one so at the end of this loop that is by after iterating through every character in this string it's this count variable is going to have the total count of number of vowel characters in the given string and whatever the value that i have in my count i want to return it that's going to be my output of this function so i say return cnt okay so that's all and now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this function so let me just minimize this so here instead of this function i'm going to use count vowels i'm going to pass the name and that's all so now let me execute this so as soon as i execute you can see it's asking me for what is my name so let me enter my name like robin and when i enter robin it's telling me vowel characters in your name are two because robin has o and i which are vowel characters and that is what it is displaying now let me execute with another name let's say ishel mariam now it's telling me the vowel characters are four because this particular name has four vowel characters so this is basically what my function does for every given string it's going to call the count vowels function the count vowels function is going to count the number of vowels in your string and then it's going to return that value and whatever is being returned is going to be captured in my result variable and that is what is being printed here 
I hope this was clear. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.